I'm Callie. I'm a member of the Choctaw Apache Tribe of Ebar. I make breads and cakes and stuff, and I work with the Rising Sun Youth Group with the tribe, and I'm on the powwow. I work with the powwow committee, and we're trying to promote our art fest to make it bigger and better every year. We're, we've grown this year than what we had last year, and it's looking better and better every year. Yes, I mean, we're just trying to keep our heritage going and keeping our heritage alive and keeping our younger, getting our younger generation more involved and keeping them in, keeping them, bringing our heritage up and keeping it growing. We don't want our heritage to die out. So we're trying to bring, we got a, quite a few kids in our youth group and we still got some young, more younger ones coming up that ain't of age yet that's coming up to where they can join the program. But we're working hard and trying to keep it going. Are you with the Rising Sun? You I work the with the Rising Sun Youth Group too. I, I'm a, I'm one of the coordinators with the Rising Sun Youth Group. So I'm here, there, now, wherever they need me, I'm here. Hi, this is Marsha Odom. We're selling fried fish or fish plates, and our daughter Natalie Odom has uh, kid bracelets and cookies. What's her name again? Natalie Odom. And you know how to cook? Yeah. <laughs> she tell them you done sold out of all your cookies. Yeah. So yeah. many people were coming and getting her cookies, and then they'd come back, and so now she's out of her cookies. They just bought the whole pan. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just come by, and they just took the whole pans and all with them. That way we wouldn't have to make so many trips over here. Ah. Well, who's the best fisherman in the family? I, that would have to be me. <laughs> we got this on tape. Yeah. I, I'm the freshman, no. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have any fish, I'm yeah. sure. So we're lucky. Or he's lucky. And I definitely have the best fried fish here. <laughs> I'm having a great day today. Chief come by to see me and gave me a big hug. <laughs> And none of this is possible without my family and friends who have been supporting me. And um, I do a lot of artwork. I tell people that I have a little bit of attention problems, so I can't just do one thing. So I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I like to do basket weaving and painting and portraitures and beadwork and stuff like that. But my goal is to teach. I want to teach arts and crafts to our younger generation because they're hungry to know about our traditions and our Native Americanness and and uh, really really are learning a lot they, they've come a long way we've got a lot of children involved now and that's the future of our tribe isn't it yes and where did you learn your craft from from my grandmother and the elders who raised me uh, mostly women except for a couple of men but uh, they taught me basket weaving and how to do, uh, make spoons out of wood, and we had to do everything to survive. Now I do it as a craft, um, but I don't have to do it now. Back then we had to make baskets to hold our things. We were pretty poor when I was little. We didn't have running water or electricity, so we made everything and we grew our own food. I really didn't go to a grocery store till I was about 12 because we took care of everything, raised our own stuff. And that's how we do it. And then they taught me all about the herbs and healing. We never went to doctors and stuff like that. We took care of each other. And um, each family had their own little person in their family, you know, that took care of them. And um, but we just, we just trying to get back, you know, to to stay in touch with our traditional Native American heritage and to pass it along to our next generation. That's the most important thing to me.